Welcome to my desk where I'm editing the next video in this renovation series. So you're in a hurry. To keep this interesting, here's some renovation footage to watch while I bring you up to speed. In my mind, when I planned out this video series, each video is going to be a discrete project with a beginning and end. So a video about clearing out the space, a video about cleaning out the hallway, a video about demolition, a video about bathroom renovations. And in sorting through the footage that I have taken so far, that's not a convenient way to do it. And it also is slowing down the process of getting videos out. So I kind of decided that it makes a lot more sense for me to just release videos with updates of what I've done just chronologically. So I'm going to explain things and kind of tie together all the bits of footage that I have to share in this video. First, let's talk about the hallway. For a refresher, here's a kind of rough floor plan that I drew on Procreate of the layout of the downstairs, including a hallway that connects the library portion of the downstairs to the back door where Ben and I enter and exit the building. Welcome to the downstairs hallway. This is our back door where Ben and I enter. Down this way is the doorway into the downstairs library area. And then behind where the camera is are the stairs going up to where Ben and I live. So when the downstairs becomes its own separate rental Airbnb type space, it will not have access to this hallway. Up until now, it has, like a lot of spaces in this old building, served as a catch-all for random stuff. And so it needs to be sorted through, organized, we have to figure out what's staying, what's going elsewhere, what, what we're getting rid of. So I'm going to start that process a little bit today. It also needs to be cleaned. And so what I'd really like to do is kind of organize shelf by shelf, wipe things off and then put things back on shelves deliberately once we know exactly what we want to keep in here. warm okay i'm making progress um i've got several of the shelving units cleared off wiped down not all of them there's still some stuff that ben needs to help me go through to figure out what we're doing with it but um i think that's all she wrote down here for today hallway update i have cleared off a little bit more from some of the shelves i have reloaded stuff back onto these shelves after they've been cleaned the carpet has also been shampooed we had a carpet shampooer come this morning Shampooed the carpet here in this hallway, in the stairs behind the camera going upstairs, as well as the hallway upstairs. Um, so it smells really clean in here. It looks a lot better. And we had a contractor replace the front door. The frame was really warped and the door was getting old. So it was a metal door and so it would swell a lot, especially if the temperature went from cold to hot pretty quickly. So on warm days, it was just a pain to get open. Uh, but anyway, we got a new door, and so my project today is that I'm going to paint the door. I'm using Rust-Oleum door paint in the color Cranberry. It'll probably need a second coat, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not usually one to use painter's tape. I usually just trust my steady hand, uh, but with new doorknobs and door hardware, I'm going to go ahead and use some painter's tape. I leave what's left of last night behind. I'm also not one to use a tarp, but I am drinking iced coffee and using red paint on freshly shampooed carpets. Old bed sheet will have to do. the road. 
I think I'm gonna call it a wrap on the downstairs hallway area. It's definitely a little less cluttered, a little bit cleaner. I've wiped things off. The carpet is clean. The door is replaced and painted. And so now I feel like I've got a little bit more breathing room in this walkway that I'm gonna be using all the time in between the upstairs and the downstairs. The first major step of the downstairs renovation is clearing it out. Now that isn't completely done and I have already started other steps, but it needed to be cleared out significantly before I was able to do anything. There's a back office in the downstairs that we are going to keep locked and use as our storage. So I also cleared out that space, gave it a good vacuum, and then started to put things in there that we want to keep in storage. And so I walk and I keep on walking Though the shoes I wear are a mess As I walk, walk, walk and I keep on walking Till I'm at the end of the road As you may have seen in the first episode of this series, the downstairs was filled with a lot of furniture. It had been used for storage for a lot of different projects and collectibles of Ben's. So he purchased a shipping container that is housed on some land that he owns a few miles away. And he moved a lot of the furniture and collectibles and bicycles, the bigger things into that shipping container. I've done a little bit of work of sorting through, especially some of my stuff from my old home. And then I've started to kind of put some of Ben's stuff into just one area for him to go through. So let's flip the camera around and have Ben tell you what he's gonna do. Come with me. Uh, I believe this is the area you've been compiling my stuff. Yes, just kind of mounding it up right here in front of those bookshelves. That's paint on my hands, not blood. This is misc furniture that we're going to, some of it, use for the project, some of it we won't. Also some Tonkas, those are mine. Um, shelving. Shelving. There's lots and lots and lots. There's going to be more than I need. And then it's just, as you can see, boxing things up in the totes, putting the totes back in our storage spot. Already started taking down paneling. Should have filmed that. We, we just didn't. We just had to try one piece. Got a little gung-ho. Ben's been toting up some of his newspapers and Tonkas from this shelf so that I can get this shelf out of the way and start work on officially taking down the paneling over here. Basically, the whole back fourth-ish will be kind of emptied so that uh, you can start working on it. Start, exactly. Start tearing down and putting back and... Get to work on the work. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the The other area that I've begun to tackle is the front where the circulation desk for the original library is located. That spot was filled with a bunch of trash. Ben and I actually get our mail delivered in the book return slot at the front of the library building. And so anytime we get junk mail, it just gets tossed on that circulation desk. And that's been true for Ben for a couple of years. So there was a lot of junk mail and there was a lot of just random clutter in that area. So I started clearing that space out. I brought down trash bags that I've already misplaced. Oh, trash bags, gloves, scalps and trash bags. And I also started tackling the front window display. For reference again, here's that floor plan that I drew. There's about a five foot by six foot window display in the front of the building. It had a giant teddy bear that I think has been part of the library since Ben was a kid, if not before. So I have some cool plans of how to style that space, but I got that process started by clearing it out.
I'm in the little window display here in the front of the library building. It's got this little window to get into it. And I'm going to, I'm taking off this trim and I'm trying to save it because it's decent. And then I can remove this paneling. I want to remove the paneling everywhere, but especially here because it is covered in like tape marks. So I'll need to put up drywall in here. I'd like to lay some flooring. It's about 30 square feet. It's like five by six. It's got this kind of countertop material. So yeah, so I'll need to put up drywall, I'll need to paint. There's an exposed brick wall here, windows that are in really good shape that just need to be cleaned well, lay flooring, put the trim back up, do something to the back of this door, I guess paint it the same color as the wall. And then there was that bear, and I'd really like to redo that bear. Ben really wants to keep it. It's huge. He remembers it from when he was a kid, from when it was part of the public library. It was probably pretty dirty. So I'd like to tear it open, take out all the stuffing, get rid of it, clean it, restuff it. I've never done that before, but we'll figure it out. There's also a little outlet down here, which is a nice little feature so I can hang you know, so I can do like Christmas lights and stuff in here. The drop ceiling of that little five by six space uh, was not in the best shape, so I decided to spray paint that. Not all of them. Is there anything I can do to this ceiling? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, in the window display. It's a small enough area, I could just spray paint it. So I decided I wanted to try and spray paint that ceiling. I get so stuck in like, I ought to be doing a certain thing, so then I do nothing better to do something than nothing and today that means spray painting a ceiling of a little window display. And a super convenient part of this project is that my husband owns a hardware store half a mile from our house. So I can go get the tarp and um, spray paint that I need to do this project. Just my weird last minute decision that I want to paint the ceiling in here. I'm back with my supplies to paint the ceiling. Uh, over my head in a small, non-ventilated area. What could go wrong? I'm so sweaty. Okay. So I got these walls taped, the windows. As you'll see, I did my best to shield my lungs from the fumes of the spray paint. It's a very small enclosed space without proper ventilation. So I would not recommend a project like this. This is one of those do as I say, not as I do kind of moments. But I was able to kind of poke in there, get a little bit of painting done and then back out and breathe deeply. So I've got a dust mask. I'm gonna switch to my prescription safety glasses and a whole darn sock thing for my head. Ready to go rob a bank. Don't paint in small, non ventilated spaces. It's dangerous. I do want to keep working on that front window display. I think that that is something that, again, it's not like structural or um, really vital to the renovation, but it's fun and it'll be something that's kind of visually satisfying to see a space get prettier. So I'm gonna keep at that. I think that about brings you up to speed. I'd be grateful for your feedback in the comments below. And I would really love if you would subscribe to this channel to uh, follow along as this whole renovation unfolds. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.